I have made an important decision. And that decision is the name of my empire. Hi guys, and welcome back to the next episode of Empire's SMP. So we are back here on the server in our wonderfully unnamed kingdom and I have some ideas and things we're doing today. So to start with, we have a lot of best friends now. I have been working away, breeding all of these and now I have so many more. So we're actually going to start by grabbing some other colors and making some more dyes and then making some more carpets. So I've done cyan, magenta, and yellow. Now all I need to do is grab some other colors. So let's grab some orange, some purple, some lime, some blue. I'll also make some light blue and some pink. I'm not actually sure how many llamas I currently have the ability to put carpets on. I think I've actually got too many carpets, but we will eventually need them, so it's fine. Now you can have a pink carpet adorable you can have an orange carpet cute you can have a light blue carpet adorable you can get the purple carpet Ooh, spooky and you can have the dark blue carpet very royal so the only colors i don't have here on right now are lime green carpet so what i'm going to do is just place the lime green carpet down and then it means once I've bred up some more best friends, I can then actually put the carpet on them. And that'll be great. But now that that's done, we can actually get on with the first job of today. So last episode, I showed you all the skeleton spawner area that I found and I have been busy. So if we just have a little run over here, you can see I've done a little bit of terraforming and actually filled in the hole because we're going to build something here. But I also made an actual skeleton XP spawner. If we have a little swim down here, which it's it's actually too deep that like you always get hurt. You always take like three to four ticks of damage getting down here. Same as going up. So I do want to change that eventually. Today's not the day. Right now is not the time. So if you come through here, as you can see all the way down here, I have a wonderful little skeleton spawner. And I even have it set so I can like do it so it's manual. So like when it's like this, I have to punch the skeletons. So like now I can do that for XP. But if I was like, hmm, I just need bones. I'm not bored about XP. I can flick it to that and they die. And then also I'm extra duper smart. And if you come in here, I've got a chest that's collecting materials. And you thought I was just a pretty face. And my favorite thing is like, I figured out most of this stuff like myself. I didn't even follow a tutorial. It's called growth. It's not the most easily accessible right now. I eventually think I will like hollow out a bigger area and decorate it, make it look nice. But mining cobble deep slate with an iron pickaxe is a pain in the backside. And I have done my fair share of that. But rather than just having a hole down to the ground to get to it, my thought would be to build a cute building that sort of houses the access. And in my head, I'm envisioning a windmill and then turning this area into like flower fields. So like putting down little paths and like walls and encapsulating different types of flowers. I will eventually also build probably around here will be my flower farm. That just takes like a lot of mental capacity to follow a tutorial and like I don't have that right now. I might later this episode but like right now when I'm filming this I don't. But I have a couple chests here with a few things that I need but there are just a couple other things I need to go and make first before we can get on to the build. I need this leather, I need this sugar cane, I need this wood and 12 lecterns. And with that I have everything I need. So Let's jump into the time lapse. As you've seen in the time lapse, we're done. We now have our windmill. It's super cute. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Inside we just have all this space, which I eventually think I'm gonna put some like barrels and storage and such. 
and then we have a little basement which just leads us to the water elevator. I'm intending on making it so that like there's a way to get up very quick and a way to get down very quick but that obviously wasn't something I was going to do on time lapse so I've just left it like this for now and I will work on that. The next thing I'm going to need to do is a terraform here a little bit and bring this out a little bit more and then I need to sort of like bring a path that like winds down here up there up and back into sort of the main area and I think once I have the path shaped down I can then work out the little flower fields and flower beds on either side. I think I'm just going to sort of like surround them with some cobblestone like slabs and stairs and blocks and such just to kind of give in like cute little beds and then I will just put like one with just daffodils, one with just dandelions, one with just tulips, one with just aliens, like just sort of spread out the fields. I think it looks super cute. But I am really happy with how it's turned out. It's adorable. So I have been busy. Over on my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash smajor, I decided to do an empire stream where we built a path. And as you can see, the path goes all the way down to the windmill. Now I also did some little garden walls here and as you can see we have lots of different little areas where I'm going to put a bunch of different flowers so we're gonna have some like corn flowers, dandelions, rose bushes, aliums, lilacs, the azure ones and up there we'll have peonies. Now some of these flowers I can't bone meal like you can't bone meal the small ones but for the big ones, I can. And the plan is basically just bone meal an absolute ton of these. And I mean a ton. And then I'm just going to absolutely fill in every single block within these little walls just to kind of fill it out. So if I grab all of these and we just go through and place it down like that, this is what we have. A little peony flower field. So I'm going to do that for also the poppies and the lilacs because I can do that with bone meal. And speaking of bone meal, if we come down here, I now have two ways. I have a down and an up. So if we go all the way down here, it's terrifying but fast. It brings us to this little area. And if we just follow this round, it brings us into our skeleton farm, which we have access to a bunch of bones down here. So if I just break this and grab myself a bunch of bones, and now we can also just go up the bubble elevator and it means we don't suffocate on our way up, which is a nice change. And it's very speedy. And there we go. Nice little way up and down. Now I'm going to spend some time here just bone mealing these two tall flowers until I have enough of them to fill out each spot and then I will come back with two of the finished fields. And done! We have our roses, our peonies and our lilacs. Now what I need to do is go and grab a bunch of the daffodils and azure flowers that I have. I know I have several stacks of them already so I want to go and grab those before I start taking more from like the surrounding meadows. The ones I'm going to struggle to fill out a whole pen with is probably going to be cornflowers. I'm going to need to go around and collect a bunch of those. But I suppose for now, I will start placing my azure flowers down and see how many we can actually fill. Worst comes to worst, I'll just go and collect some more from the surrounding area. As you can see, there are lots of them. Okay, the azure flowers done and the daffodils are done. It's now just collecting a bunch of cornflowers and a bunch of alliums. This one is gonna take a while. So I'm gonna go do that. A little longer than a few minutes later. A little while later and we're done. As you can see, I got all my cornflowers and my alliums. They took forever to make because the only place they seem to grow is the meadow like over there, like that one. So I had to keep running over there and bone mealing more to get it. But we have it done. It's super, super pretty. It's absolutely perfect. It's everything I kind of wanted. And you've got this super cute path that winds round up into the windmill. I'm also eventually going to do a path into here where that will be all of my like forest and like wood cutting area. But for now, this is just where the path goes. Now also, I have made an important decision. And that decision is the name of my empire. You all gave me a bunch of amazing ideas and I scrolled through the comments for ages having a look at some and there was quite a few duplicates of different people coming up with the same ideas or whatever, but I have finally settled on, drum roll please, Chromia the Color Kingdom. That's Chromia spelled C-H-R-O-M-I-A, which is also a fun thing because my character has two different colored eyes, which if you have that in real life is known as heterochromia. So Chromia, the ruler has two different colored eyes. It just made sense. Also, someone in chat came up with a really cool slogan, which is 
Come visit. It's a place to die for. But die spelled D-Y-E because dies are my export and I just love that. So thank you random Twitch viewer that gave me that idea. I'm running with it. But look at this. We're really coming together here. We've got our barn, our starter house, and our windmill with our flower field. Honestly, the where my priorities are seem a bit mixed up. Like those two make sense. This one, a bit more of a passion project, if I'm honest, because I did build all of this with iron tools. I definitely should have prioritized enchanting, but we live, it looks pretty, and that's all that matters. So now that we've done the windmill, we're actually going to do a few more of our best friends. Now for this one, do I have shears? I do. I already have one piece of lime wool. I need to pick other colors that I don't have. And also, I'm not sure if there's actually sheep in here of colors that I don't have. I don't think there is. Well, white and also brown and gray. They're not as colorful as I usually would enjoy, but they're still ones that we eventually need to do. So let me jump in here and grab this lime carpet and you can be our lime buddy. Adorable. That one's actually super cute. So we've got a white carpet, a brown carpet, and a light gray carpet. You can be brown. The brown one's kind of cute actually. You can be white, adorable, and you can be light gray. Oh, <gasps> wait, stop. You get little ankle booties. You're styling. He knows he's slaying. He's got a like neckerchief and then like sweatbands around his ankles. He knows. He's serving as he should. Well, look at this. We have a little pen of friends. I do eventually have plans for these guys, not just having them sat in a pen all the time. It's just a very colorful pen right now. It's great, but I do have other plans for them. So do not worry. You will be utilized better. Your skills and services will be utilized. Now I've said before how my main expert is going to be dyes and a lot of dyes I can get through flowers, which is why I'm living in a meadow because I have ample access to them. There are, however, a few dyes that I can't get that way, including cactus and cocoa beans. And then like squid and all that, but like I'll deal with that later. I, I don't know if I mentally want to set up a squid farm. Maybe we don't do black because it's not very colorful. I don't know, we're the color kingdom. But for cactus, I should set up a farm. It doesn't need to be a fancy big one just yet, but I should start getting some cactus going. So I have a few materials here. I just need to grab a bucket of water. And then for now, as I said, it doesn't need to be a permanent place. I want to eventually make a big scale one. For now, I just want to make a little one out in the open that I will eventually destroy. So maybe just down here, honestly, would be pretty good. And we're just gonna make a little five by five box. And then just gonna put a little wall around it. And I'm gonna break this one here because that's where the hopper is going to go. Four little pieces of sand. On top of this cobblestone, I'm just gonna pop a little fence and then break this. And then over in this corner, I pop some water down and I can plant my cactus. Now I just need to grab a hopper and a chest and then it's done. So all I want to do here is pop down a little double chest with a hopper going into it. And now what will happen is the cactus will grow. When it hits that fence, it will break. And then it will just flow in the water all the way down into the hopper and into this chest. So now as long as I basically am in this vicinity, I will be getting cactus, which is great. I am just going to bring up the walls a little bit more just so that no cactus kind of goes flying out for whatever reason. I don't think it will, but I'm just being sure. As I said, not very pretty, but luckily for me where I've put it is kind of out the way. If you're stood here, you can kind of see my windmill, you can see the barn, you can see the house and you don't see it. It's only if you go to the edge of this and look down. But that at least covers our bases for almost every die. I also still need to set up the flower farm, but that is probably something I'm going to do on stream because it's a long, tedious process that I would rather have chat to talk to while I'm doing it. So probably next episode, I will have a flower farm and we'll maybe make it look cute. But for now, this is what we have. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Empire's SMP. If you did, remember to leave a like. Comment down below what you thought of the windmill. What's your favorite flower in Minecraft? And also what do you think of our brand new empire named Chromia? I am very happy with it. I think it will turn out very cute and very colorful. I'm excited to see what we can eventually do with this empire and build up and such. I have a lot of projects in mind, so I'm excited to get on with them. But if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you do not miss a video and I will see you all next time. Bye!